Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new Ledger Connect extension to safely and securely interact with your crypto assets in your phone's browser. So let's get started. All right, so Ledger has a new beta version of their Ledger extension. And it's only available for Safari on an iPhone or Safari on a Mac. Now, I don't have a Mac, so I'm going to be doing the demo on my phone for you today. They are going to be adding support for more browsers. And hopefully when they add support for Chrome and Brave, I'll be able to do this demo for you on a desktop platform. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they've got so far so that you can see how this works. So uh, also I should mention that this is only available for the Ledger Nano X and not the Ledger Nano S Plus. So this is the website where they talk about Ledger extension, right? Support for more browsers is coming soon, such as Chrome, Brave, and Firefox. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and also, uh, the beta currently only supports the Ethereum and Polygon chains. Now, the video here on the website is pretty short and sweet. Um, not long on explanation, but it does show the Ledger Connect being used on OpenSea. And it looks like it shows it being used uh, in Paraswap. So I'll go ahead and see what I can use mine in. Uh, but I'll show you how to get it set up and I'll talk about uh, step by step the things you're going to need to make this happen. So the first thing you'll need, of course, is your Ledger Nano X, right? Your Bluetooth enabled uh, device. And you're going to need some crypto on there if you're going to do any transactions. I've got a little bit of Ethereum in here and I also have some Polygon. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try the OpenSea. Uh, and then uh, some of the other DEXs, perhaps. See what happens. We're going to need our phone. We've got my iPhone here. So, of course, we're going to need the Ledger Live app. You should already have that installed if you've been using uh, your Ledger Nano X with your phone. And in addition to Ledger Live, we're also going to need to get the Ledger Connect extension. Let's go over to the Apple Store. So uh, we'll choose Get. Go ahead and get that installed. All right, and we'll need to enable the extension in our browser. All right, and then let me see if I have Safari. I would think that I do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, got it. All right, so let's go back over here to uh, the Ledger extension. It says how to enable it. Let's uh, just do that. It opened a link in my Safari browser. I've already installed the app. All right, now I need to enable the extension. All right, so it looks like I tapped down here uh, in the uh, search bar where the, the fonts are. All right, and that's gonna pull up the settings and then we'll go to manage extensions and there's the ledger extension. I'll go ahead and enable that and then we'll tap done and we've got that part done. Okay, it's giving me an alert telling me what? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and always allow this to occur. This is going to be dependent on our device. We're going to need to authorize specific transactions on our device. So having it always running is not really a security risk because it can't really do anything without your authorization from the device. So I'm going to always allow uh, let's say every website because I'm going to try a few more. Uh, let's say, okay. It wants to use Bluetooth to connect to my device, which is also fine. Now it's looking for my device, but my device needs to be on and ready. So, uh, I'll go ahead and get it turned on. Right. And so the first order of business, I need to get my pin entered. All right, now that I have the pin entered and I'm at the uh, home screen of the device, I should go ahead and try again. All right, I just canceled out of that. Let's, let's just take it step by step. Uh, I allowed it. All right, and now we're at the connect step. Uh, as I mentioned, I needed the device on and at the home screen. We'll hit connect. 
Uh, now it wants me to swipe up. Okay, it's looking for ledgers, and uh, it has found my ledger. I'll go ahead and tap select here. It should pair up now. Wants me to open the Ethereum app on the device, and it has connected to my Ethereum account. We'll click uh, connect here. And we've uh, successfully established the connection to our device. Is it done? That says I'm all set. All right, so let's try uh, OpenSea. That was the first one. Just I'll just go ahead and open up a new tab and I'll go to OpenSea and see what happens. So uh, let's tap up here. And uh, we'll go ahead and connect our wallet, see how that goes. Uh, we'll choose, it doesn't say Ledger uh, Extension or Ledger Live, it just says Ledger. Uh, but I'm assuming that that's what we need, right? Let's tap that and see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Pretty cool, right? It uh, connected directly to my Ethereum account. We'll, click. we'll tap Connect here. It says it's successful. We'll tap Done. All right, there's a little uh, message from OpenSea. Interestingly, uh, OpenSea sees the other chains. You'll notice that it has a, a balance of $666, uh, and that is a total of all of these alternate chains, right? Now, Ledger is telling us that the only chains that are going to be working now are Ethereum and Polygon, but OpenSea sort of sees the other accounts that I have on this device. So let's go ahead and just focus on the Ethereum right now. You'll see that it recognizes my Ethereum balance. So let's go over here to shop and see if we can't find a uh, really cheap NFT. Something that's not going to cost me a bunch here. I'll choose this Sisters of Saturn uh, just because it has a low floor price. I'm just going to see. I just want to get one. Uh, just want to make a transaction without uh, breaking my bank. <laughs> yeah, seventeen dollars. I can uh, I can swing that. So I'll tap add to cart, right? And then I'll go up to the cart. All right, and so uh, there it is, seventeen dollars uh, worth of Ethereum. All right, point zero one Ethereum. We're gonna pay in crypto. Let's go ahead and complete the purchase. All right, it wants me to swipe up, All right? And there we go. So, and it's very easy to read and understand. It's not a bunch of hex digits or long numbers that I that uh, I don't understand. It's uh, in English, very well presented. There's my wallet address. There's my nonce. I'll tap sign on my phone, All right? Now it wants me to sign the message on my device. So I'm going to uh, use the metal button. There's the message. Welcome to OpenSea. Uh, there's all of the information about my transaction. Pretty cool. Uh, we can click both buttons to just go ahead and finish this up. But let's go ahead and go look at the message here. All right. And then we get to the last part, sign message. I'll click both buttons. And off it goes. All right, now we'll swipe up again. Not able to identify the transaction value at the moment. I'm not sure that that's really that important. I saw what the value was on OpenSea. So I'll go ahead and continue. All right, there's the account. And uh, here we can see the amount that's being uh, authorized, right? Uh, we can do it fast, medium, or slow. I'll just go ahead and do uh, fast. I'll continue. All right, now it's asking me to review the transaction. Line signing is enabled. There's the amount of Ethereum. It's not very much. All right, there's the address. There's the fees. We'll click both buttons to accept that. All right, we're waiting for a confirmation. All right, so it worked. Uh, so let's see what happened here. Transaction complete. Let's view in app. <clears throat> All right, now it wants me to open Ledger Live app. Ledger Live app is where we can view our wallet. All right, there's the Ethereum account. I'm basically done with the device now. I'll just turn that part of it off. All right. 
Now, it might take a few minutes for the NFT to actually uh, hit my wallet. All right, so there it is. Uh, the NFT hit my wallet, and everything is as it should be, right? Uh, we can see a little further down in the transaction history that I actually spent around $26 uh, along with the uh, Ethereum fees. Uh, it did work right? Uh, it did interface with the Ledger extension properly. I was able to connect to OpenSea through the Ledger connection without having to use MetaMask or anything like that. Uh, I was able to successfully purchase the NFT, and it is in my wallet. <laughs> so all of that is well and good. I would like to see if I can use Polygon. So I'm going to go back over to OpenSea. So I want something cheap. I, I don't know anything about these NFTs. I'm just looking for one that's cheap enough for me to show you a demo. All right, so uh, this says Matic. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one. All right, it doesn't cost very much, right? It's uh, just a small amount of Matic, so I have no problem with that. So when I try add to cart it wants me to connect so it doesn't list the ledger extension here on poly for the polygon network so perhaps it's not working yet let's um well, let's try that paraswap they mentioned i saw in the demo that paraswap was around let's do para swap all right, let's try that. All right, so we'll go ahead and launch the app. We'll say OK. Ah, OK, so apparently I can't connect to Paraswap from the US. So I get, I'm i not going to do that one. All right, so I had some trouble trying to use Polygon uh, or purchase a Polygon-based NFT on OpenSea. Uh, it didn't recognize the Ledger wallet. It was smooth as silk when I was trying to purchase an Ethereum-based NFT. I tried Paraswap, which they showed in the demo, but uh, Paraswap doesn't like my IP address. <laughs> uh, so uh, it does work. And uh, if you're curious and you want to use uh, the Ledger extension on uh, to purchase NFTs on uh, OpenSea, using your phone and your ledger device safely and securely, it does work, right? Uh, but like I said, we're still in beta at the moment. So uh, I'm expecting great things from the ledger extension. Uh, I did get successfully get through one demo and managed to purchase an NFT using the ledger extension with my Safari browser on my phone. I'll take that as a success. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.